Knustengroff up here on my little sniper perch. You see these little skeletons wandering around down there like roaches. skeletons. I've got them all down here out of the way now. Okay, I believe other than one sitting on a throne on the far side of the room, that's pretty much it. I'm not going down there for a while anyway. Um, I think what she will do, go ahead and jump over here. Okay, just getting across these, just equip your whirlwind sprint. that we got. It's the reason they give it to us before we come here. Right. Actually, technically, I could have jumped onto that one right there, but the rest of these are inaccessible. Those, I don't know of any way uh, to get across here without this shout. Like I'm saying that somebody's probably figured out a way to do it. I don't know. Not that I'm aware of, but I know that the shout works, so it's good enough for me. wait for the cool down period and you can see that door over there that would be inaccessible otherwise and there should be a lesser soul gem a chest and a skeleton to loot come on <sighs> you know if I hadn't already killed those skeletons I would just start this over that is so embarrassing all right let's get over here If you're still with me, thank you for waiting patiently. See that skeleton sitting on the throne down there? He'll wake up eventually. Not really worried about him right now. All right. Let's get over to our little secret room. First of three little hidden or out of the way areas here. He should have a soul gem. Yep. That. An Elven great sword. I may give that to Uthgird. Although, I don't know. Smithing her the steel sword may be actually even better than anything else, considering I have the steel smithing perk. Jump down here real quick. One more skeleton down here somewhere. Not a threat, just a nuisance. Or not. Alright, a few gems. Fire traps right here. As long as you're stepping on the, the clear ones, it's okay. You just want to stay away from the, the colored ones. Alright. Uh, I, you know. These arrows do the same amount of damage as a steel arrow. I think the only difference is they don't fly quite as far or something. But uh, overall, they're free. And they're usually pretty numerous when you can get skeleton archers around. Oh, I, I heard. That's what I heard. Was this. And there should be... Nice. There should be uh, two potions... One fell off here, and one sitting on top over here. Okay, and the next uh, two kind of hidden areas, what I got? I got about four minutes left. All right, let's see if I can get down there. That's where we're going to go to continue on with the dungeon. We're also going to need Whirlwind Sprint over there, too. So, make sure I've still got that handy, but I need to come down here and get my shout. And, uh... 
off to the west western side of this word wall here uh, is a waterfall that you can get behind. That makes you uh, temporarily invincible. In fact, uh, from what I understand, well, even if you're falling, if you could manage to cast that shout while you were falling, you know, a mile, uh, as long as it was active when you hit the ground, um, you wouldn't take any damage. From what I understand, I've never actually tested that, but I've heard that. All right, this should be a draugr. It's probably going to be at least a white for me at this level. So I'm going to want Uthgird in here with me. No, it's just a restless one. It's usually a white, though. But you get up to, oh, I'd say level 16 or 17 or higher-ish, that range. And he's guarding a chest and a sword. Uh, this one's just a steel sword. Usually it's better than that. Now that soul gem actually has something in it. And uh, you know what? I'm going to use that right now. Anything less than a grand soul gem is just primarily for enchanting random useless stuff or uh, to alter or recharging my stuff as I go. Once I get uh, Azura's star and have a soul trap spell equipped to uh, one of my weapons, I'm sure it'll be my bow. Um, now, to get to this other secret area, come up this ramp over here. Anyway, get that with the Zura Star and, and a Soul Trap equipped to uh, one of your weapons. You basically have unlimited charges because the Zura Star is reusable. Every time it catches a soul, just empty it into your weapon. And the very next thing you kill with Soul Trap... Uh, now, see, I can upgrade these and give these to Uthgird. She'll take them if they're upgraded. Uh, other than that, her default armor, I don't have access to it. Uh, well, unless I marry her. I think if I marry her and she becomes a merchant, there's a way to do it. Um, rather than go through all that, just find identical or better armor and upgrade it, and she will accept it. I, I actually like the way she looks in that armor. I think that armor is actually really cool, personally. But uh, she will eventually get the ebony mail and some Daedric gauntlets, Daedric boots, and uh, no headgear. I don't know. Well, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'll decide when I get there. And those are all the hidden things that I know about in this area. Now it's just a matter of crossing this bridge where I'm going to need a whirlwind sprint again when I get over here to solve this puzzle. There's four gates, or three gates, and each one of them opens with one of these, so one, two, three, and epic fail. Anyway, I will eventually get through this. When I get to the other side, I will start another one because I'm out of time on this one. So uh, see you all in a minute.